at least like people I just didn't talk to before. Probably, but I don't think they had missions for me, so. One more of these for now. This one's gonna be hard. I'm gonna assume we're at the top of the sandcastle for this one. Which could pose a challenge because we're not gonna be able to move around quite as easily. Like, it's gonna take us some time to go from, like, lower on the sandcastle to the top. But depending on what we actually have to face, it might not actually be that big of a deal. Right, glow mobs is what the power bomb was called. Transport lots of glow pellets, trick nulls. Yep. They gave us a lot to start with. Okay, so, only one trick null, huh? Oh, okay, a little, I see the scaries. Let me ride you, dog. They get grabbed a little bit there, but okay. We're active already. That's good. Ooh, things are currently going after the trick roll, so. keep an eye on the mini map to see when things get more aggressive up there because that could cause an issue if things get more aggressive near the luminal so now we we um protected the trick null enough i think it might be okay <laughs> I don't want you to worry about that right now. Yeah, nice bowling. Goodness. Nothing up there is attacking so far. Tongue is going that way. Yo, yo. 
I would love the real get emochi. I swear, Ochi, you should be able to keep yourself protected. Yeah, Ochi seems fine. Uh, wrong thing. What was my Ochi? Yeah, Ochi's good. So I can kind of leave Ochi just somewhere and he will basically work as a protection. Alright, that wasn't bad. Just had to keep an eye on the top, because that was where the danger was going to happen. I'm impressed you defeated all those creatures. It wasn't sure you'd survive the night. Arguably, I could have just had Ochi stay up on the actual one. Put in the effort out there, New Blood. And then I could just protect the trick knoll, which was basically just in the path. There was only one way they could have reached. The, um... The mollusk thing, whatever it was called, I always forget. The... Bloister, that's it. Bloister. That was at the top was maybe going to be an issue for Ochi. I think he would have been able to handle all the dumplings by himself, though. He did take some hits when I left him at the end there. But he, he did good. We did good. I think we're ready for the big whatever is happening next. The house. I think it's just going to be like its own big map. Which is exciting. I think that's good. But just based on how it looked in the intro, that like big kind of kitchen room area, and then there were like paper bags to go up the stairs. And then there'll be like other caves. If not, then it's gonna be like the final area. Who cares? Defeated so many enemies. We'll be able to rescue three people right away. It's very exciting. Hello. Why does nighttime on this planet have to be so creepy? What's this? Comms guy, you afraid of the dark? No, I'm totally fine with the dark and with nighttime on other planets. It's just. There's something about this place that feels like something might jump out and get you at any moment. Haha, sounds like you're scared of ghosts. You know there's no such thing, right? Well, actually, science has yet to disprove the existence of ghosts. What? Yawn. You're into all this ghost Huey? Really? No, I wouldn't say that, but there is something that's been on my mind. You ever notice how the corpses left by the creatures during the day are nowhere to be found during night expeditions? I didn't, but thanks for pointing that out. Hold up, uh, did you also notice that when things die on this planet, their ghosts come out? Can we please stop talking about this? I mean, I don't know, something might have just eaten them. But then the, the corpses remain when we come back the next day, so obviously it's ghosts. Uh, okay, let's go. I'm excited. Let's go uh, save Captain Olimar from Hero's Hideaway. I guess uh, this probably is just going to be its own big map world, right? Like, I really can't match it not me. So I guess it would be, uh, I hope, like, the end point isn't a Dandori battle. It would probably be some kind of boss fight. So I would only assume that there's, like, the super dungeon somewhere. Maybe we'll see the, uh, leafling person jump in there. But, uh, excited about house, honestly. I think I mentioned it before, but it seems like such a neat idea for a place. And getting a little funky with more, like, urban <laughs> environments. Oh, there's a armored cannon beetle. Like, for real. Do we toss Pikmin into his little suck hole? Ooh, the kitchen! Oh, this is really exciting. Oh, boy. I almost kind of wish this would have been um more of a secret 
calling here. It looks like you're safe inside the structure. Safely inside the structure. Based on your current location, we were right to conclude that Captain Olimar is in this area. Not like there's anywhere else he could be. Found a log associated with your exact coordinates. Unknown area. I'm so close to fully repairing the SS Dolphin. The remaining parts should be somewhere inside this giant structure that I've never seen before. It's as if the rules of logic I've come to understand may not apply here. I'll have to explore carefully now. Now? Doing great. And we've got one more piece of surprising news. The spaceship we found at the rescue command post is Captain Olimar's. What? That's wild. You can use spell. After a not... Analyzing its flight logs, we can confirm it came from Hokotare. Which means we can now track down Captain Olimar by scent. Before you set out, I had Ochi memorize any smells associated with the ship so we might be able to find its castaways. Olimar. To find Captain Olimar, Ochi, we're counting on you, Rogue. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Yo, oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Look at that big TV. I didn't even notice it last time. Alright, who do you recommend I bring? Okay, I guess that's fine. I'm sure there's a Florilic somewhere. Or two. Hopefully two. Bad aim. What's that? Some kind of hole. Man, you would think Yellow Pikmin would be able to deal with this. But no, it's Ochi has the Yellow Pikmin power. Hello. I like that you were sleeping on a couch. Look, over there! It's that dog that was running around with that leafling. It looks like it's all alone at the moment. I'll check and see what the voyage log says about it. Moss the guard dog. Moss has been guarding the outside of the bunker for me while I rest. She's also been gathering up Pikmin, though it's unclear where she's finding them. Either way, I feel so lucky to have Moss by my side in all of this. Huh. Hmm, some neurons are firing off here. Is there some kind of connection? So if this dog is the moss mentioned in the log, then that leafling must be... Okay, I'm glad they are acknowledging it. New creature discovered. Charge! Bam! What? What does what symbol mean? It's taking the pigment. Uh oh. I don't know what the dog intends to do with them, but we need to get them back. I would like to get those rock pigment back, please. Well, ice helps. We're killing the dog. They're my pigment now. Can we bring dog home? I don't think we can. I would assume it heals up. I'd also assume the symbols that were being talked about were probably just the, uh... Oh! Bunch of bed bugs. I guess I'm going to carry those bodies back. Um... I would assume the armored... Cannon... Oh, those guys are back. Armored Cannon Beetle probably will... Lead to a base or not, but there's a cool button. Yep, I've played Pikmin before. I like that we can see Moss's, uh, okay. Moss's healing. Good so How did that Rock Pikmin lose its, um, feather for me doing nothing? I 
like how that ball just casually moved away. Um, that just gives us a fan. Are there any? I guess I probably should be using my uh, vision thing. That would be a good idea. Not my vision, my um, this thing, vision. Oh, there's a spot. Well, that's not exactly a great spot. Ooh. Well, that's like a, um... Okay. So we can't go, like, all the way up the stairs. Unless... We can't... Oh, this place is wild. This is, like, super exciting. I'm, like, overly... Thrilled about this. The second I thought those were. I like you. You're adorable. Look at this little guy. Looks like a straight up Pokemon, and there are bases here. Someone lost their. Game Boy Advance cartridge of... I can't read that. I have no idea what that is. Some origami. Okay. That was like the stuff that we couldn't really do before. And there's a base in there. Macaroons. Floralic. A robot head. A bunch of robot parts. We get to make the big robot. Is that Ice Pikmin? Onion? In the fridge? Let's go. The dude. Another music box. I'm sure it plays a cool Pikmin song or something else, maybe. I like your snaws. So much. Dog sponge. If we press that button, does that make the, like, blender happen? They're probably just... Oh, burning. Actually, that's interesting, because I'm assuming that means we can only bring burning. Oh, there's so many things to do. So many things to see. If Moss was guarding something, is there a, uh... I don't really see anything there. Um, okay, well, I might as well get that other base done. I know I got, like, overly distracted. And also, I'm gonna do this instead of getting that other base. I'm gonna let you guys do this. I think we'll be safe. you will all be safe. Especially because you're still dying. It'd be funny if we could, like, um... Do, like, extra damage. I guess I'll have you guys all bring back stuff, too. Why not? Oh, we build like a little thing there. Oh, there's that guy. He just like carries a little golden nugget. Oh, and then they can break the golden nugget. Oh, 
think if I freeze them, it stops them from... I really wanted to try fighting them, it didn't really work out. I think freezing them stopped him from killing me. Uh, you know what I should do, actually? Come! My children! Probably immediately get this ramp going. Since we're nearby, maybe I will activate... Is there an easy way for us to actually get there? Hey, everyone. Nice day to show up. I'm, like, super distracted because there's just so many things to look at. Ooh, bomb rock. Don't mind if I do. Well, whatever I, Moss, I guess, tries to steal our Pikmin, so as long as we mess Moss up, we don't really have anything to worry about, it seems. have brought more pick lads. Okay, Clay's been defeated. The prize we did good enough to Can we somehow turn this into a base? Probably. Spit that out. Um yeah, let's turn that into a base. And you have to get real close if you want Ochi to do things sometimes. Not what I want to do. also uh do this because moss is surely going to wake up at some point and we would like to avoid that if at all possible I don't even you guys were the ones that were idling get over here I right, switch to uh Long button. What did I? I really forgot what I. Yep. It's fine. That's what I want to do. And uh, now we're a Technicolor mess. I don't want to throw. Mm. I don't like to. Oh my god. Okay. We don't want the captain. No, Captain, leave me alone. Okay, you know what? Fine. Ochi. Well, the, the thing I want to do, I guess that's... Okay, never mind. I was the wrong, one that was wrong, because we had to... We had to dig. I wanted to go in with Ochi and a bunch of Pikmin. But clearly that was wrong of me. You guys doing? How's Moss doing? Basically, Moss is down for the count after like you do that once. So the whole day is pretty fine for us. Like ropes and stuff. I'm gonna have to use the yellow Pikmin to. Okay, this is kind of what I wanted to do. I don't want that. Can I? No? We have to use the, uh... 
weird grind rail, it looks like. Okay, so useless. Auto-aim sometimes just picks weird targets. I wonder if it'll tell me when Moss is back in action. Like, just like a little warning. And this just does the fan, right? Fine. Nothing else on the couch besides some raw materials that I'm okay with avoiding for now. Use a little yellow pitman to grab this. Never mind. Yellow pitmen are useless. Oh, there was a thing. Robot hand, let's go. I know there was stuff behind this. I saw it. Ochi to do that, but whatever. Not a big deal. You guys, stop doing nothing. It's like a really sad looking beach ball. I'm assuming that's what it's supposed to be. It almost looked like it was like a, um... Like a wax lantern kind of thing. Nah, it's just sad. So what did we clear out here? Oh, Moss is back in action. Watch out. Is Moss actively hunting us or just like in the area? Nice. Unclear. Moss kind of looks like it's just chilling. Okay, I would say just chilling and then... And then dead. Goodbye, Moss. I wonder if freezing also helps. Uh, what I want to try to do... These platforms kind of blow, I feel like. We need to try to get our way to the calculator. Is there like a way I need to go to be able to reach that? Probably like this. Yup. Nailed it. Do we have time to reach that? I also know when I, uh... Oh, I did not have to do that sick jump, but that jump was very sick, and it was cool that I did it. Um... I do realize that when I was, like, rushing to get to one of those caves in, um... Serene Shores, that I actually have a lot more time than I thought. Because the, the red is just, hurry up a little bit. And then that, like, last dot is when you have your, like, 10 seconds left. And I think that's when... Those yellow Pikmin are probably dead. Yep. But I'd rather just get that completed than more Pikmin lost. It's fine. It was a worthy sacrifice. Don't worry about it. Somewhere out there. I know. I know where we lost them. You don't, you don't have to try to make me feel bad. I know what I did. It just seemed a lot smarter to me to uh, get that origami down 
before we, uh, or just, just so we can finish the platform, basically. Mm. I think you guys will be okay. As long as Moss doesn't get in the way. Moss, you're getting in the way. Yeah, they're fine. Lost three Pikmin to reasonable causes, I would say. Now, the origami should still be down from that weird webbing. So we should be fine with that. Where are the castaways? I like barely scratched the surface of it too, just because I got overwhelmed with excitement. So overwhelmed, I let three yellow Pikmin die. I wonder if Moss spawns in the same area, like on the couch. No one was saved. Well, look at all the neat stuff I found. 4%. Three dead. It was worth it. I wonder, has Ochi's tail always looked like this? It hasn't. Space dog breeds can be very mysterious. Perhaps it changed as he grew. Uh, you guys just don't know anything about this? Okay. Well, he doesn't seem to be suffering from any health issues as of late. Let's just keep an eye on him for now. Hopefully it's nothing serious. Rescue Olimar. Also, I wonder if we unlocked anything new from shops. We have not. And also, I got no pup points. Uh, no series completed, but let's look at the critters we saw, especially that weird little frog that had the gold on his back. Horn Cannon Beetle. Why did you change its name? This giant shiny black carapace is one of the precious stones of the natural world. When it lifts its ebony wings, the briefly visible flesh beneath it creates a striking color contrast. This is a living work of art that transcends the imagination. Arctic was cool looking. It didn't have the other suck hole. Watching it move around on the very tips of its tippy toes is like watching a ballet. If you offer it to be a dance partner for this little spiky toed sweetie, it will leap high in the sky. Bet this agile creature will have no trouble sticking in the landing. Yeah, but look at this guy. Glide man, glide man we. Favorite critter. With one little gold colored stone on its back, it toddles about, lantern flickering cheerfully. It doesn't intentionally deceive Pikmin or our sensors. They just respond to that gold colored stone. Only the adults tend to be intentionally deceptive in this world or, or any other. So do they like, or do they like mesmerize? I didn't really notice that before. Dog. Ochi and Moss are two peas in a pod. It's quite unprecedented that a space dog shouldn't meet such a similar creature on a far-off unknown planet. You could even call it miraculous. Could they be siblings separated at birth? No, that's just not possible. Unless, but maybe. Yeah, honey. How could you possibly put yourself away? Imagine if we actually did just like defeat moths and threw it in the ship. And then Olimar's like, where's my dog? <laughs> 